One of the main things I look forward to on my travels is tasting the local cuisine. I've tried so many meals and beverages around the world, but it's no secret that I have a sweet tooth and my guilty pleasure is ice cream. So in today's video, I wanna share with you three unique ice cream experiences that I've had all around the world. We begin with the ice cream that does not melt. One of my favorite things about Turkish cuisine is the ice cream. It can be found all over the country from these little street vendors with these old men wearing the funny hats and making all these jokes and it's really a great scene to see. And what I love about Turkish ice cream is that it's hard texture and it doesn't melt. So we are right now in the city where it comes from called Kaharaman Maraş and we are gonna learn all about the production and how this ice cream is made. The history of ice cream maybe 300 maybe 400 years ago it's really hot in the summertime june july august it's really hot and they invented ice cream to cool down their body the secret of ice cream in kahraman marash is the milk of ice cream is coming from the goat who has been fed on the mountain with all the natural ingredients and natural herbs so it gives the special taste to the milk of the goat and they use this salep which is original and organic in the ice cream it makes it so hard and so tasty you have to like chew it it doesn't melt in your mouth you have to chew it but it's so good and literally won't melt you can keep it outside all day and it will just stay in the cone that is Turkish ice cream for you. But the funniest part about Turkish ice cream is that the street vendors make you work extra hard for your cold treat. I'm getting just fooled right now. Yes! Nice! Nice! Yep! Test, 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 test. Nice, test. Um, um, um. Um. Thank you. Not every ice cream is ice cream. This is the ice cream. The most amazing thing about Turkish ice cream is that the consistency is so hard that it doesn't melt. The unique ingredients that make this possible are only found in the mountains of Karamanmaraş, which is why Turkish ice cream comes from this very land. Next, we're gonna check out a unique style of ice cream that is just as satisfying to watch being made than it is to eat. I'm Drubinski and I'm going to show you how they make ice cream in Thailand. When it comes to desserts, few places are more innovative than Thailand. They have essentially invented a new concept of ice cream called ice cream rolls. Oh, so graceful. <laughs> I'm just moving myself in slow motion, I'm so use it. It can be found in any street food market around the country, like right here in Chiang Mai. The cooking process is almost as enjoyable as the delicious taste. Step number one, place your order. I'm picking my flavor now, there's so much to choose from. Yeah, this is a strawberry Kit Kat. Salikab. Number three, yogurt, uh, banana, and mango. Step number two, watch them pour a milk-based liquid onto a freezing cold metal disc or an ice grill. Step number three, take a spatula and spread the oozing liquid around the surface, kind of like making a crepe. Step number four, after the ice cream hardens, use the spatula to cut thin strips rolled up into a cigar-like shape. Step number five, Five, assemble the strips neatly into a cup and add any topping of your choice. Step number six, devour. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, I just realized how gross it is to cheer with ice cream, but it doesn't matter. It's actually really cheap. For two ice creams, it's only six dollars, so three dollars each. Thailand's ice cream rolls is where entertainment meets dessert, and it would almost be a crime not to try it on your next trip to the land of smiles. And finally, I'm gonna take you to a country where anyone craving treats will leave with a smile on their face. I'm talking about the country of Syria. It's where I found the best ice cream I've ever had. You won't believe it, check it out. Never in my life have I been to a country with more sugary treats than Syria. So if you have a sweet tooth, then you might wanna watch this video until the end. That's so good. Oh my God. My favorite uh, Syrian sweet is Madlua. My favorite Syrian sweet is Hrisa. And of course you have to try Knafe Bjubne. So walk in here in the middle of the street and there's just a table with a basket of treats on top. It's like Halloween, you can just come and take whatever you want and 
It's amazing. The streets of Damascus are saturated in candy shops, one after another after another. We're in this candy shop right now and it just smells like heaven in here. Oh my god. The sweets come in all different colors, shapes, sizes, and textures. They're um, chickpeas, sugar coated. And I'm seeing many of these candies for the very first time. That is what you call a true Syrian innovation. And finally, I've apparently saved the best Syrian dessert for last. We're waiting in line to eat the most famous ice cream in Syria. Look at this line. Oh my god. <laughs> They're pushing. Oh Jesus Christ. Only like blocks. Because they have to carry the ice cream over their head because there's so many people. So is that pistachios on top? Yeah. The best thing about this ice cream is the creaminess. Like the, the consistency is, is unbelievable. You can just tell that this recipe of this ice cream has been passed down generation after generation after generation. And it is fantastic. In a sense, the candy industry is one of the few that survived the toughest of times as the economy tanked. And it's something that all Syrians can bond over because whenever there's candy, there's smiles. Wait, actually, they smile no matter what. If you guys love ice cream as much as I do, then I can imagine you already know what you're going to indulge in after watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really means the world to me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below so you can stay updated on all my travel videos as I go to every country in the world. And also ring that little bell icon so you can get a notification when I post a new video. Lastly, if you're on Instagram, hit me up at Drubinsky. I share a lot of behind the scenes live content on Instagram stories for my trips. With that all being said, have a wonderful day guys and I'll see you in the next video.